Okay, my friends, Roger, once again, my fossil university. I am going to show you these particles, the gluon, which will be the black ball right there, then the photon, which is this compilation of particles, and then the W and Z boson, which are these separated apart. Now, listen to what he has to say here on Seeker, which is a fabulous channel. And he looks into a lot of stuff, Seeker. Now, they're looking for gravitons. This literally is the graviton, the gluon. Now watch, listen. A boson you've probably heard of, the photon. And the weak force is carried by the W and Z bosons. We've seen these bosons experimentally, but we've never observed a particle that carries the force of gravity. And that's irksome, because a hypothetical boson called a graviton could solve some major issues in physics. Now, I am saying right now, that black ball right there is the graviton. It pulls back the white electrons, which literally make everything. Electrons, this particle here, makes up all the particles in the universe. You add 1837 of them together and you have a, a proton. That's why you can have isotopes and nuclear decay and neutrons and, and all kinds of different decay from neutrons to protons, protons to neutrons. You're given and taken extra electrons. That's why you have acids and salts. It's very fully understood now with electron flood theory. And I will show you right now the particle he's looking for, the graviton. Now, when he said they can see these experimentally, absolutely they can. But what they're seeing is a hundred billion particles smashed into debris and then finding all these things, no clue where they came from. We're starting with two particles, squeezing them exactly like he says, and even CERN now says, this is the way to do it now, is with photons squeezing. I've been showing this for six years, so it's about time they caught up. <laughs> Okay, they call light a particle and a wave. Well, there's the wave. The particle is way back here, and that particle looks exactly like this. And it is a graviton attached to an electron. Nobody's ever seen the black graviton before. Although they have seen it in debris, but they never knew they were attached. Okay, those pulses of waves are created by these particles as they boom, boom, boom through the air. And when they do, they get brighter and brighter, and then they explode at the Venturi. Back here, they're sort of undefined. They're just working their way through the debris in front of them. Then they start to stack up this way. See this way they're, they're here? And then all of a sudden, they twist sideways, and then they turn into a little box, and then they explode. And the white particle turns into a shower. The black particle is a graviton. It just walks away. The yin and the yang. Green does the exact same thing, it's just a little more powerful. Now you saw the wave, and that was the wave, and it, the particle was way back in here. Now it's being sucked out of here because there's a concussive area here where all of these particles have to squeeze together to get through a venturi. When they do, they stack up, and, they, and then they create which, what is called uh, reverse electromagnetic interference. And that's this right here. You see this back here? This is concussive, reactive pushback because they can't get through enough. So they bounce back and create these reverse waves. This was coming in. This is the huge reverse wave coming back. So, and you can see these are being concussed backwards and forwards at the same time. It's very, very dynamic interaction here. And that is obviously accelerated. This is obviously a particle. And let's look at it as it literally deteriorates and, and uh, deconstructs itself. Right there. There it is. That's the gravity part, which was held to the black and white balls together. And they would have been happy together, except that going through this Venturi, their magnetic regions are like this big, and the particle in the center is so tiny you can't see it. But once they start to push against each other, it's like balloons pushing each other with a tiny little particle in the center of the balloon that makes the balloon big. And, and they get down, and then all of a sudden, it just sucks this stuff through, and the black balls roll away because they are gravity. They have no 
interactive, concussive, emit, absorb, none of that stuff. All they do are gravity. These are gravitons. So that's my statement, and I think I can show it. I think I just have shown it.